Hi everyone, thanks for joining us today. This is Powering AWS Batch with Amazon EC2 Spot Instances. My name is Chad Schmutzer. I'm a Principal Developer Advocate for the Amazon EC2 Spot team. Let's get started. So what we're going to be talking about today is running cost-effective batch processing workloads uh, on AWS. And the way that we'll do that is to use an AWS service called AWS Batch, and we'll use EC2 Spot Instances as the compute uh, background for that. Spot instances are spare EC2 capacity available at significant discounts off of the on-demand price. They really unlock uh, some really neat capabilities with AWS. The first being low predictable prices, the second being fast results, and the third being that they are extremely easy to use because of their tight integration with other AWS services. So what we'll use today is a service called AWS Batch. AWS Batch is a fully managed batch processing service where all you have to think about are your own applications um, and let us handle everything else. Uh, AWS Batch has been fully integrated with other AWS services as well, so you can run your entire pipeline tied in with your batch processing service uh, and workloads. And it, AWS Batch has been cost optimized um, to be the most effective way to run your workloads at scale on top of AWS. And as we'll see, it's been tightly integrated to use Amazon EC2 spot instances. Um, and let's take a look at how this all works together through a demo. Um, so I'm gonna jump in here, and I'm gonna show you what you need to build your own cost-effective uh, batch workload on an AWS batch. So the first thing that we'll need to do is we'll need to create a job definition. And so I have here an example job definition that, that tells us everything we need to know about our particular job. It's going to be a containerized job, it's going to use a Docker image, the latest version of Alpine, it needs a single virtual CPU, it needs 128 megabytes of memory, and the job itself will simply run the command env, which is to show us uh, what the current environment is for our workload. Um, so I've already created this job definition, um, and I've created this within AWS Batch, and we'll take a look at that in a moment. Um, after we create the job definition, the next step will be to create a, an EC2 launch template. A launch template is where we define things like the image ID that we'll use, or the AMI, as well as any tagging um, for the resources that the AWS Batch computer environment spins up for us. So you can see I've defined them in this launch template, and I've created this launch template for us to use. The next thing we'll do is we'll take a look um, at what we need to spin up the computer environment for, um, for our AWS Batch workload. Um, in this case, we've set up a managed uh, computer environment. Um, the managed computer environment is going to be using spot instances for the compute resources. We've told that we, we can use a minimum of 128 virtual CPUs, a maximum of 1,024, but our desired constant is 128. In terms of which instance types we're going to use, we're going to let Batch figure that out for us. And we're going to say, please use the optimal instance types and sizes for our workload, because we're going to tell Batch what we need, and Batch is going to figure the rest, about, uh, rest of it out for us. In terms of uh, where we can run this, we're going to tell it these are the subnets within our, our virtual private cloud that we can use for our Batch computer environment. So in this case, I'm defining six subnets which map to six availability zones. Uh, I've also defined some permissions around the, the instance roles and the IAM roles and the service roles for this particular workload, this compute environment. Um, and we're going to reference the launch template that we just showed you here in the configuration. The next thing that we would need to do is to create a job queue. And the job queue is where we are able to submit jobs to tell Batch to please process these jobs from the job queue. So obviously we're going to need this environment to be enabled. Uh, we're going to define a priority, higher number meaning higher priority, and then we're going to tell the, the job queue which compute environment to use for processing our jobs. So let's take a look uh, within, our, within our AWS console. We can see that our compute environment has been spin up for, spun up for us. So we have four EC2 instances running. Uh, Batch chose to spin up C4 8 extra larges, um, and we can see that these are spot instances. Um, so this, again, is the most cost-effective way to, to do our batch workloads. Um, and this is a fully managed computer environment that AWS Batch is man managing for us. In terms of Batch itself, let's take a look. We can see that we have our job queue that we defined, we, and this job queue is pointing at our compute environment, which I just showed you, which is four running spot instances. And those spot instances are providing to us a minimum of 128 virtual CPUs um, and a maximum of, of 1,024, which means the, the batch environment can automatically scale up and scale down the amount of virtual CPUs and memory we need based on how many jobs are in the queue. 
we can see that we have our job definition, um, which we just went over, which is basically um, telling the, the environment how to run the job and what the job needs. We can see that we have the job queue and we have the computer environment itself. So let's go ahead and submit some jobs to our job uh, environment, um, to our, to our uh, job queues and let batch execute them. So we'll do this by heading back to the AWS CLI. We can see we have a, an example um, demo job here that we will submit. We're gonna give it a name. We're gonna point at the job queue and we're going to tell it which job definition to reference. So let's go ahead and copy and paste here a for loop. And this for loop is simply going to submit 25 jobs into our, into our job queue inside of AWS Batch. So I've got a simple bash while loop, a for loop here. We're going to submit uh, 25 jobs and AWS Batch will take these jobs, process them and give us the results in, in CloudWatch logs. So let's head back to the console. And if I do a quick refresh here, we can see that we have jobs submitted. Uh, we may have some in the pending state we may have some in the runnable state. And eventually, as these jobs are processed, they will move into the running state, and then finally the succeeded state. And we can see here that we have, uh, our jobs have run through, um, they're sitting in the succeeded state. And if we click on each individual job ID, we can drill in, get the results, the output, we can see that they've succeeded. Um, and we can take a look at the logs themselves to understand the output of the jobs. So the logs are stored again in CloudWatch logs, if I take a look in my log stream, we can dig into each of these and we can see that here we have the results of the command that was executed, the ENV command, which gives us the environment uh, which our compute environment um, ran on. So this includes the host name, uh, the environment variables, as well as the path that we're in. Okay, that's it for the demo. Thank you for watching. Hopefully now you're ready to start saving on batch workloads on spot instances.